Hello everyone, Joy here. I'm back with the 6th Minimalist Home Tour. The weather's getting a bit cooler here in Korea. It's starting to feel like autumn. It's been quite lovely. And with that, I wanted to talk about how our relationship with our belongings and our stuff, um, at least personally for me, is also somewhat seasonal. What I mean by that is perhaps, um, although I'm a minimalist, um, I mentioned oftentimes, even in the last week's video, about how I like to look good, how I like to dress well as much as possible, even though I'm trying not to own as many items. Uh, I work in the beauty industry, so I have to look presentable. And consequently, I do enjoy looking great. But sometimes that involves fashion, which means um, I can't simply own three black t-shirts and black pants and expect to perform well. And lately, I had the opportunity to be around people from different age groups and different walks of life because I happen to have more time to be social. Let's say someone who's like a 25 year old and I see them traveling the world I get like secondhand happiness because I feel like that's what they need to do at this point in their life You know someone in their early 20s or teens wouldn't really need a huge closet unless they work in fashion industry again It's about the phase in your life and your priorities and your lifestyle and what matters to you the most individually and i feel like this is kind of the time where we can also talk about things like envy you could envy someone for having more material possessions for having a bigger house for having better furniture and having stability but then again someone like this might not have enough time to spend um elsewhere because they have to spend the time maintaining their possessions or maybe they wouldn't be able to have I don't know, um, extra income that they can spend on something else, so on and so forth. Neither lifestyle is better or worse. It's just about a choice. And I think it's really important to figure out what it is that we want and being honest with ourselves. That way, when we see somebody else living a life that's different than us and having more than us, whether it's free time or money or business or beauty, social life, or more material possessions, whatever it might be, we're actually able to accept the fact that because we're living a life that's authentic to us individually, there's no need for us to be jealous or envious of somebody else's lifestyle because the reason they have more belongings or more time or more money is because they made different choices and they were coming from different circumstances. And that's the beauty of life, right? Like. You know, for instance, I'm not a doctor, so I would need someone who spent their life being committed to helping people get healthier. And a doctor might not be able to create a beautiful autumn hair for herself or himself. Do you know what I mean? And that is my job because this is the path that I've chosen. In my youth, I was able to figure out that I'm really interested in something creative and I like beauty, uh, whether it's art or human. Um, so this is what I mean. All of us have walked different path of life and ultimately our actions is a testament to what we value the most you could say oh i don't care about money i don't i don't care about that but if your actions line up with that you do care about money um then you're going to make decisions that you know lead to that and as you can see i could sit here and say oh i don't care about how i appear to other people i don't care about the external appearance one clearly I do. I spend a lot of time grooming, making my hair look nice. I wear makeup every day for the most part. My actions have already spoken that this is what's important to me at this stage in my life. And I think that's kind of the way we can sort of rebuild our relationship with our possessions as well. Instead of saying that you care about fashion, if you notice that in your life you have a bunch of clothes that you never really wear, they're in your closet, they're just taking up space then you know it's not that important to you. And if we're not doing anything to change our current circumstances, that just means that we're okay with whatever it is that we value at the moment. And I'll just like to um, invite everyone to be honest about um, where they're in their life, accept the fact that we've made decisions within the limitations. Again, I don't want to dismiss the importance of circumstances, but then again, you know, there are always people who rise above circumstances, right? But ultimately, we are individually responsible for how we live our lives, me included in that equation. You know, I know I have certain inner beauty, but that might not show immediately when someone meet me for the first time. And I decided, you know what, I'm a little tired of, again, being disrespected or being seen as someone who's okay with bare minimum in my life. Therefore, I'm going to invest more into how I present myself are bait externally. That means that whatever money or resources or time or energy that would have gone into something else like focusing on work or focusing on school is definitely going to go into making myself presentable 
um, by the eyes of average persons. And that's a, um, that's a risk and decision that I'm willing to make at this point in my life because I'm learning and I feel like this is the right path. Again, if this is not the right path, there's always opportunity for me to come back to um, the drawing board and figure out uh, how I can live my life and spend my energy and resources to make sure that I'm happy uh, at that exact point in my life. And that's what I wanted to talk about for this week. And without further ado, let's start this week's Minimalist Home Tour. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Minimalist Home Tour. This will be one of those imperfect home tours because I haven't really been able to clean my apartment, but I did fold some blankets and stuff because I was having y'all over. <laughs> so there's my bedroom as usual. I've got two pillows and a thin blanket. The weather's been getting colder in Korea, but that's okay because we've got, ta-da, floor heating because this is a very, very Korean household. Uh, and we will move over here into the fridge and closet area. And as you can see, this will be an imperfect home tour because a lot of my clothes are not folded. These are clean, dry laundry that I don't feel like folding yet that I put away in here because I've not had the energy or intention to fix them, but that's okay. And this is actually all my clothes that I own. Uh, there's not a single clothing item in that uh, suitcase. Usually I would keep off season clothes in the suitcase. So a lot of the summer and cooler weather clothes will go in there pretty soon. But again, I've not had time to do that. And up here, of course, I've got my usual uh, yoga mat and uh, board game that I've been playing lately. And over here, nothing has changed. I've not even gone grocery shopping, but I do have more food trash because I had my friend over for at least twice uh, this last week. This is midterm season. So um, before my classmate had been asking me if she can stay over and I wasn't able to have her over. Uh, but you know, this time I was able to so that uh, she doesn't have to drive back home uh, to Suwon late at night after doing homework together and so on and so forth. And this is of course, the laundry that's drying that I usually keep here, but the reason why I put it over there is so that I can have a clean thumbnail shot. So this is usually how my home would look. Uh, another thing is this thing is broken, but I'm going to keep it for now because I don't have uh, too much laundry uh, as of late anyways. And of course, let's go into the bathroom over here. Uh, and I've got my shampoo and conditioner down here and smaller scrubber for top surfaces and big scrubber for bottom surfaces and toilet bowl and that is a mold killing solution right there uh, and as you can see um, this is a wet bathroom so there's a shower head right there and my friend actually left this um, this is her stuff but it's like a body body shower gel she was asking me if I had any shower gels and I told her like I have a soap uh, but she's like no I gotta use a shower gel so for me, uh, something like a shower gel is, or body wash is not even that important. So it's not an essential item to keep in my house. Uh, whereas, you know, um, I don't know, like a shampoo is or conditioner. So it's kind of interesting to see how what someone else values more um, in terms of what they must have in their in their day to day life. And it's quite different. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Of course, I've got my foam cleanser to remove my makeup and then I've got the mouthwash so that's so far. Then up here, um, there's, you know, another foam cleanser. Again, that's an extra gift from my mother. And that's a sunscreen. I've got extra toothbrush. That's actually hers. I might keep it for another week. Uh, if she has to come stay with me again Monday night. Uh, but then this is uh, also hers. It's like a one plus one. Um, she left it. Um, yeah, and then I got one feminine hygiene product. Again, I was telling y'all how I'm on long-term birth control, so I don't really get periods. But occasionally, if I'm like too tired, my hor hormones are out of whack, I'll get uh, some bleeding. But I've not had a bleeding since, so this is great. But I'm keeping this one just in case I have irregular bleeding. But so far, so good. And of course, there's cotton swabs. And down here, uh, we've got this mini face cream that is also a gift from my mother. And then this is a, a you know, Vaseline for my fingers. Uh, so usually I would break out um, my middle finger and stuff like that. But you can see actually they're in a good condition, which I'm very happy about because I've been, you know, obviously getting into doing my nails done and stuff, stuff like that. So it's wonderful. Floss, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, deodorant, body mist, uh, and then body lotion, of course, nose strips and cotton swabs and the little oil for my lips and so on and so forth. And this is, yeah, that's my bathroom tour. <laughs> and of course, there's my jackets. I actually need to get a winter jacket because it's gotten very cold very fast. So I think I'm going to get like a poofy coat somewhat soon. But yeah, like over here, as you can see, these two, I usually like layer them on 
by usually i mean like yesterday and of course down here is a work laundry that i need to take to work and there's my backpack over here of course i got my new boots and uh those little sandals that i usually wear in summer or i'll just wear those sandals like they are crocs or something whenever i go to a store nearby and of course running shoes and that's actually being used as a trash can uh but there's a paper bag and over here you know of course i've got my brita uh cup and then the lavender smelling scent thing over there but i haven't really been able to cook at the house in fact i was asked to go out tonight but I'm, i decided to stay in so that i can go grocery shopping sometimes i have to be very very con conscious about um taking rest otherwise i end up uh, revolving my life around other people and it's really not great um but you know again we live and learn right and over here we have uh kitchens uh storage i store everything including my uh, accessories passport um toilet paper and kitchen supplies so on and so forth and we will move down here of course, there's just some trash can. These were more organized last week, but now they're just scrunched up in there. And that's okay, you know. Um, again, next week is midterm, so it's been kind of crazy. And I've been staying social and stuff like that. So uh, household housekeeping hasn't really been my priority. Uh, and that's okay. You know, we go through phases in life. And this is uh, my home tour for this week. I hope y'all liked it. And let's just go to the outro. So that was my minimalist home tour. I hope y'all liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all next time with more home tour. Bye! Mwah.